In this video, I'm going to show you how to make miniature food from White Castles, and I used templates for all the cups and the little holders, and polymer clay to make the food, and for the drinks, I used Dimensional Magic. I started by printing and cutting out the templates, and then I scored the folds, and then I glued the edges together with a glue stick. For the cup, I glued together the inner and outer edges and then I trimmed the excess to make the cup a little bit smaller. To make the burger bun, I cut tan clay into a square shape and then I textured the edges with the needle tool. I added chalk pastels to the buns to make them look like they've been baked. I used brown polymer clay for the meat and then I pressed aluminum foil into the clay to give it texture. For the onions, I used a translucent white polymer clay and the pickles are just cucumbers from the salad video and I'll leave a link to that video in the description box. I also added brown and black chalk to the top of the onions to make them look like they've been grilled. Fries are a mixture of translucent, tan, and yellow clay. I cut strips of clay and then I use the tip of a toothpick to give the fries a crinkled texture. Once I textured all the fries, I baked them until they were hard and then I added yellow, orange and brown chalk pastels to give them color. The onion rings are a mixture of white, tan, and translucent polymer clay. First, I made the rings, then I baked them, and then once they cooled, I painted them with liquid clay, and then I covered them in white craft sand, and that's going to look like the breading. Bake the onion rings again until the sand hardens, and then shade them with chalk pastels to make them look like they were cooked. Use a piece of white clay to make the base or the bottom of the cup. Basically just press the clay into the cup and then smush it down with a ball tool or a pen. Bake the cup until the clay hardens and then glaze the inside so that you'll protect it from bleeding. Mod Podge Dimensional Magic is a great replacement for resin because it's less expensive and it only takes three hours to dry. So I poured um, Dimensional Magic into one cup and then just added vase filler which looks like little ice cubes and you can find it in any craft store. 
And for the Coke, I mixed Dimensional Magic with brown and black acrylic paint. And I also added more vase filler to look like mini ice cubes. And then I let the cups dry for about five hours and they turned out really glossy and shiny and not sticky at all, just like resin. And this is what everything looked like once it was finished. And thank you guys again for sharing your pictures with me from Instagram and Twitter and Facebook.